Hi everybody and welcome to the Canadian Tire Motorsport Park Grand Prix presented by Audi. We've already had the seventh round of the championship. It was spectacular. It's time for us to take a look back with our Kia Rewind. We are ready to go. 50 minutes of competition about to unleash Aschenbach on the inside and the Camaro on the outside. Scott Dullahite in the Lotus and War Green. Riddle shows the nose in the 07. Can't get it there. And Mantella for a moment had designs, but a nice move by Riddle into second, Cal. He does. He elbowed his way inside of Scott Dollarhite there down into turn one. Mantella sits in the fourth spot. There's the sin right in the mix as well. Clennon in the sixth position in that Maserati. Oh, and down into turn five. Clennon goes around. Late move. Yeah. And he touches the inside curb and that spears him straight into the side of the Maserati and turns him. Parker Chase. Oh, that's late. Oof. That's really late. <laughs> we know that young man yep. loves late breaking. And we haven't been talking much about Lawson Aschenbach because he's stretched a margin of about three seconds back to Max Riddle. Boom. Oh, he oh. looks to the inside. Not quite far enough. Didn't have the momentum to pull it off. Here we go. Now a change went to the other side this time, Cal. Ken Stacy out accelerated down to turn four. Oh, Dollarhide really sideways there off at turn two. Oh, look at this. Sandberg to the inside. That was easy. Blows by Scott Hackett down into wow. turn three. What yep. a race he is having. Riddle underneath Dollarhide wow. back into second at the end of the straight. Well, just as the team were thinking that Dollarhide could be making some moves on our leader, Riddle has spoiled the party a little bit. Sandberg got to the inside of Roush. Oh, wow. And he should have the speed here. Jack looks to the inside, but Sandberg should be able to hold it around the outside. And that is crucial. He's got to do exactly <laughs> what he Whoa. did when Nate Stacy laid down three really key corners here and gap Jack Rose Jr. before he gets to that back straightaway. He's got it. The Lotus will try and fight back around the outside on the acceleration down to turn four. A little wiggle there by Dolly, but he's there. He might still be able to make this stick. He does. He does. The 44 of Kevin Marshall, which is another uh, Lotus is in the pits, uh, having some sort of an issue with that car. Kevin, a little bit frustrated right now. Krug just giving it the once over. Look at Sandberg, he's holding that inside line. Does the Lotus clear him? Sandberg very late on the brakes. He needed to do that. Sandberg at 23-7. New fastest lap of the race, and here he comes. Somehow, Jack Roush is holding up both Sin R1s and another of these crossbows. So Jack Roush right now driving an amazingly good race. Whole new meaning to Red Mist there with Whoa. that red Mustang and the two Red Sins. <laughs> now there he takes to the inside. That was decisive. But boy, oh boy, there's <laughs> no way he's going to keep this Aston behind him. Oh, and he's through. Wow. That was. That's what he needed. That was mega. That is perfect. Yeah, just stuffs it to the inside. Beautiful. Boy, now he's got to go. The margin has yeah. ballooned back up to eight plus seconds. Yeah, Oshima's going to be tough to catch. Oh, look at this. That's Japonic. The answer versus Flannon thing continues. Ooh, and he broke. He did. Yeah, something broke. In terms of strength behind the wheel, there's few better than Lawson Aschenbach, and he adds to his tally his 20th. Pirelli World Challenge career win and extends that point lead. Yeah, buddy. 